In today's video, we're going to look at the new feature in ChatGPT, which is called Canvas. Okay, so basically, this is like the artifacts in Claude. It works a little bit different, though. It's actually much better, in my opinion, for content marketers like myself. So let's get started with testing an SEO article. Write me an SEO article called 10 best AI SEO tools. So this is what it looks like. It just writes all of your article here on the right and then gives you a little bit of more information here on the left. So a little bit like the way it works in Claude, right? So you can see here the whole article here is ready. You can just copy it over to your website if you want to. But what you'll see now is actually that this is super, super really important because all AI articles need editing, right? So having this content editor is, is really, really cool. I really appreciate this. So this is kind of your standard AI article now at this point. I mean, it's gotten so much better, right, than it used to. Uh, but because, you know, this is clear to read, you know, it's easy to read. Okay, I know Surfer SEO is a good tool. So, you know, it's just got everything here that's simple. But we always want to make them a bit better, right? So what you can do is highlight the text like I've done there and ask ChatGPT to rewrite it uh, or explain. In this case, we don't need to explain it, right? But we might want to rewrite it and say, okay, we don't really like this feature or whatever. Let's have a look down here at what we've got. So in this case, I don't really like Jasper. I'm not a fan of Jasper. So I can say something like replace Jasper AI with journalist AI. So what it's done now is just going to highlight all of the parts that I don't want and just rewrite it like that. Amazing. So I've just in one second, I've just got a new paragraph, right? So amazing, amazing feature that, you know, can be super helpful when editing. I'm definitely going to be using this all of the time. You can also just add it in here. So let's say, let's find another one. Maybe we don't want. Okay. Uh, I don't know this one. Interesting. There's a bit too much of features on content optimization. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to focus more on automation, rewrite the article and focus less on content optimization and more on automation. So tools like Journalist AI and Koala Writer that allow you to link to your WordPress website. Okay, you can just see it. It's literally just writing the article like that. It looks really cool, doesn't it? So it's basically just changed all of the order around so that it put the, uh, the tools that I wanted first and second. So imagine I want more information here about Koala Writer. So I'll just say explain all of the features of Koala Writer, including Koala Magnets, how to use the API, the benefits of Koala Chat. So I'm just going to ask it to do that for me so I get more information now about Koala Writer. Interesting, okay, this time it actually put it in the chat and didn't edit my article, so that's not really what I wanted, was it? Can you update and edit the article with this information and make the section on Koala Writer longer, including all of this extra information? So it's writing it again. Okay, yeah, so now you can see my article is a bit more in depth. Okay, I've got the information about the API, the Koala chat, right? So we can basically do this over and over again, or maybe I'll just try and see if it will do this for every single item on my list. Can you do the same for all of the items on the listicle? Research two to three extra features, unique features that each tool has and go more in depth about them. Okay, so let's see what it's done. Hasn't really done what it did for Koala Writer, like it really went into depth, depth with that one, right? But it's just added one to two extra features. Okay, so it's made it a little bit better. It doesn't seem to want to do everything right, but definitely, definitely an upgrade on what we had before, right? We've got a decent article now at this point here. We could also, what we could do possibly is like copy this in and we're not going to be able to use a uh, O1 preview, but if we want to like add in check, you know, for grammar and anything that's a bit more complicated, maybe we can use that model as well. I'm still going to use journalist AI and Koala Writer. So if you want some discounts for them, I'll leave them in the description down below. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about AI SEO, especially AI SEO that's related to generating content. That's it for me. Thank you very much.